Hello guys, today I'm be showing you how to make pollo insada. It's uh, a chicken with tomatoes in it, tomato chicken, whatever you want to call it. And this is the season that we use to see. I already put some Valentina on it. It's that red stuff you was wondering. It's Valentina. It is um, hot sauce, uh, Mexican hot sauce. And this is what I use to season it. Some lemon powder. I mean lemon pepper. <laughs> ah. Some crushed red peppers. Some mustard. Chili powder. Accent. Sauna accessory, salt, and some mojo in the flavored orange. Now I'm about to season it, and I'll get right back to you guys when I'm done seasoning everything. So now that my chicken is all seasoned and stuff, look how nice and pretty that looks. I have my pot heating on six. It has nothing in it, just heating. Up and up and waiting and then the three more minutes I'm gonna add my butter in it. I'm just wait till it get nice and hot. And over here the vegetables that I have. I have some butter, some tomatoes. I really didn't cut them up really really good. I have some green peppers. I have some onion and I have some potatoes. So now that my pot is nice and heated, I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter inside. I just want a little half of it. It's gonna be a little of a struggle because I just have one hand. Hold on. This spark here. So now that the butter is all melted, I'm going to start adding my chicken in. I don't know if you can barely see the smoke. I'm going to start adding my chicken in. So now that my chicken is all in there, I'm going to start adding the vegetables in. Tomatoes and stuff. So now, uh, after you put all your vegetables and stuff in there, you want to let it cook for a little bit. And then after five minutes, you want to add a little water in it. Because you want the chicken to get a little toasty and stuff. And you want to add a little water in after five minutes. So give it five minutes and then add, come add a little water in there. So that's why I said not to put the 
water like as fast because it's gonna make its own sauce if you season it real good it's gonna make its own little sauce up in there and I like to put my water last because I want the flavors to flavors to get to know each other Ooh, I can't even talk today I want the flavors to get to know each other and combine and make a good mixture so now you can start adding your water in there Keep it, keep the level, keep the leveling on six, or you could turn it down to medium, and then put the lid on there, and come check, look how nice and beautiful that look, oh look at that, so beautiful, look at those colors in there, now you want to put the lid on, Come check back on it in 15 to 20 minutes. Like when your chicken is a little more browner, you see how it's browner? You can come like another 10 minutes and then you can come and add your potatoes and stuff in there. So another good five minutes, you can add your potatoes and stuff in there. Okay, now your five minutes is, has passed or so whatever time you have. So, it's a little more browner. And now you could go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit more. It's about six. And then you could go and add your potatoes in there. Because you don't want to put, you, you don't want to have your chicken cook and hard potatoes. So you're gonna add, add your potatoes in there. If you wanna know, What's that white stuff on the potatoes? That's um, butter. I'm going to add your potatoes in there. I'm not the best chef, so my papa's is just out of control. One's bigger than the other. Nobody could cook perfect. So after you add all your, your stuff in there,